Uh, Chris, obviously, from a score standpoint, you kind of talked about it too, just disappointing and, and kind of the, the way the outcome came. But I guess some positives you guys can take, and obviously I'm assuming you're still working out some different lineups too, being in an exhibition game. Obviously, it was a disappointing result. Uh, you know, and all the questions prior to the game, my answers were, I was as curious as anyone how we would respond to that type of competition. And unfortunately, it's, it's uh, not the response that we were looking for or, nor the desired result. And there's a lot of talk these days about the process and not getting caught up with the results. Um, certainly, when you're new and it's a new staff and new culture, new ideas, new schemes, new expectations, and when you don't have your team here for the whole summer, it's hard. It, it comes really fast and hard. And there's so much going on with on the floor expectations and teaching and coaching. At the same time, you're, you're trying to establish your academic plan and how we act and behave and get involved in the community. And so when you look at it from you know, a 10,000 foot um, perspective, there's a lot going on. And at the end of the day, you know, we're judged by our results. We, we all understand that as coaches. And in the beginning of the year when it's a first year and it's a lot of new faces, it's really, really hard. And unfortunately, we still have a long way to go. We're really hoping that at some point this year we look back and we're hopeful as a staff that, that, that we can look back at this game and it be the impetus for change. Uh, I think we've got their attention. Uh, I think they're going to listen more than they've ever listened since I've arrived. And we're going to try to use this to our advantage as best we can to um, get them to play at a higher level. Um, obviously, you still kind of want to see some competition, too, for spots. Are you kind of at that 7, 8, 9, 10 that you want to play, or just still competition this week going in? And even at the beginning of the season, might still be some Well, we've talked about this all, all since I've arrived, you know. We, Who's going to start? How many guys are you going to play? And my answer is always the same, is that I'm going to play as many guys as I can. I'm going to play as many guys that I trust. I'm going to play as many guys that deserve to play. And unfortunately, at this point, we're not as deep as I would like to be, nor as I anticipated. Some of our new guys have not uh, grasped what's required to produce at this level. So. Um, if we had to play right now tonight, uh, our, our bench would be pretty short. You know, hopefully, you know, we'll have a really good week of spirited practices and some guys will get better and learn from their mistakes and, and we can, you know, have some depth. But right now, we're, 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 uh, we're at probably a seven or eight man um, rotation. What kind of positives did you guys take out of the, uh, the two exhibition games? Uh, I thought rebounding. I, you know, I thought we rebounded the ball pretty well. Um, I don't have the stats in front of me, but I think we had 17 offensive rebounds against a Big 12 team. Now, we missed a lot of shots, so, you know, it's easy to rebound the ball when, when you're missing shots. But we were up fairly significantly at halftime, certainly the last eight minutes of the game, from what I've been told by some staff members, is that we had a pretty good advantage rebounding-wise, and then when it got out of hand, you know, they, they kind of battled back to make it even. But I felt like that was the, the brightest spot uh, we had, other than the fact that, um, you know, this game doesn't count for, against our record. How much of the injuries, Coach, slowed down the progress of the team, especially with A.J. And, and Zach not practicing much? It certainly has hurt us, but most teams fight injuries, you know, at some point during their season. You just, you know, keep your fingers crossed that you'll stay injury-free throughout a season. We have some key guys that we just can't afford to, to go down, and those are two of them. Um, so it slowed us down in preparation. Uh, we're hopeful that, you know, it looked like both of them were back to full 100% on the court. Zach looked like the Zach that was, you know, here uh, late summer, early fall. Um, but again, I mean, there's no excuses. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, nobody cares. No one's going to feel sorry for us of how injured we are or aren't or how many practices kids have missed. Everybody fights through that. In, in college athletics, and we're no different. But um, we're, we're really hoping and praying that we can stay injury-free for a while. What are realistic expectations for those two guys for this year? Um, you know, I, I, I'm realistically, I, I think they both can have really good years. I mean, we need AJ to be 
uh, the quarterback and, and to run this team and learn how to be more of a, a leader slash quarterback than just a player. And we need Zach Lofton to be a producer. He's got to score and rebound and defend and, and do all the things that he's capable of doing, and he's very capable. I mean, when he's on that floor, he looks the part and acts the part. He looked like one of their guys. And, um, you know, obviously he got in you know, foul trouble like most of our team did, so he only played 12 minutes. And that wasn't because of an injury or anything like that. It was just he was in a mess of foul trouble. But uh, we need both of those guys to play awfully well. What do you know about East Central, Coach? Not much. You know, uh, I really don't. I've, I've not looked at them at all. Um, that'll be my homework for tonight. But um, just haven't got to that point yet. With um, and I want to. I don't want to look ahead a little bit, but obviously with a big game a week from tonight too, and not a lot of time to prepare for St. Mary's after Friday. Do you kind of try to put a little bit of St. Mary's in this week, or you just guys all focus on Friday night and then we'll look at St. Mary's after that? You know, we're going to meet as a staff here this afternoon, and we're going to talk about the possibility of that. You know, I don't know a lot about their schemes. I do. They know have. I do know they have a ton of guys back, and they got an excellent coach, and a great program and a culture and. They're ranked anywhere from 12th to 25th in any polls that you look at. So it's obviously a formidable foe, especially on the road. But in terms of game planning for them, I think it will um, you know, be how much stuff they do that we have to tweak our defense. But we'll probably do something this week just because of the, of the short turnaround. Excited to be back at home here Friday night? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm more excited about practice today. You know, I really feel like um, I really feel hopeful that this is going to be the impetus for change that we need. That there's been some struggles in practice with getting them all on the same page and buying into what we're selling them. Um, you know, and, and at the end of the day, you know, it starts with me. I'm the one that's had to look inward because their their play is a reflection of me, and I'm not proud of our effort or execution or our performances. And you know, I tell them that that it starts with me and. It always will start with me and, and their reflection of me. And I'm not happy about how it looks. I'm not happy about how we're playing. I thought we'd be further along than we are right now. And so we're going to have to change some things. And certainly they're a part of it as well. We're all in this together. And um, I'm, I'm just, I really believe that uh, there'll be some positive changes this week. I guess how concerning is it for a couple of the post players to like Eli, they you know, didn't have a did have great production yesterday. Um, how concerning is that a little bit? And obviously you're going up against a Big 12 team, but how concerning is that, was that you know, at this point of the season? Yeah, Eli hasn't performed uh, great in the three uh, live looks that we've had. Um, you know, for a first team all league preseason player, I don't think he's played to that level, and I would assume he would tell you the same thing. I, I can't speak for Eli, I don't know why, um, but we certainly need to get him going. I think Jonathan Wilkins has probably outperformed the expectations that he's had. But again, I mean, these are exhibition games. These are close scrimmages. These are why you play these games. Um, you know, certainly put a lot of stock into them in terms of teaching moments and, and trying to get better from them and learn from them. But we don't put a lot of stock in the results of the games. Um, but they, they certainly were, um, you know, opportunities for us to learn and get better from them.